do this. Everybody looking at the pandemic, the lockdown, all the chaos that's happening all around the world right now, and thinking, why is this happening? What is this all leading to? And when will this ever end? So we need to understand the forces of nature and how the universe works. There are no things in this world that acts on accident. Everything is on purpose or deliberate. This is the forces of nature, the forces of the universe, the way it understands deliberate creation. And we need to understand that everything has a beginning, a middle and an end. Meaning that every creation must have a preserver. Every preserver then must come to the destroyer, where the energy is then transferred and shifted. But we need to understand that energy never dies. Nothing really comes to an end, because everything is just an evolution or a revolution. And we have a choice here. We can look at this and say, hey, why is all of this happening? Why is everything coming to chaos? Almost like everything is bad, but what if we were to see everything as good? What if we, that we could see the light at the end of the tunnel? What if that we see the grass is actually greener on the other side, which actually is not on the other side right now? Because if you look outside, the pollution levels have actually decreased and everything's actually coming our way. Although right now, it really depends on which side you focus on. We can look at everything that's happening and say, Hey, wait there a second, there's deaths happening right now. <laughs> there's people being in lockdown and we feel loneliness at home, but why not be able to see this as an opportunity to actually not go outside, but go inside, deep down within. Because when we do go within, we're able to find out who we truly are because all of the shit that is coming out right now belongs to us in that moment the past us and everything that's coming out is just raising our level of consciousness and our awareness that hey wait there a second what is this thing that's coming from within me that's reflecting outside right now because when we start to see all of this we start to realize that hey <laughs> right now it's almost like the universe is just placing a mirror right in front of you just saying hey look at yourself and look at all the chaos that you're creating in this world look at all the pollution Look at all the negativity. Look at all the destruction. And once we're able to see this, maybe, just maybe, we can take this reflection as a warning sign, a warning from the universe to say, hey, you know what? This is your time to shine. In Chinese, we have this saying says, within every crisis, it comes with two words. That's danger and opportunity. So how do we look at it right now? Do we look at it as a dangerous thing that's happening right now? Or can we actually learn to thrive through this? So many people right now losing this economic game, this financial game, losing their jobs, businesses actually going down and under. And we can actually lay down and say, hey, I'm defeated right now. Or we can actually see this as a chance, an opportunity to actually pivot because the best companies, the best entrepreneurs, the best leaders actually rose from the biggest crises in the world. So my question to you right now is, do you see this as an opportunity? And are you able to shift your focus and say, hey, it's my time. It's my chance. It's my turn right now to be able to pivot, to be able to think outside of the box, to be able to go online and not just think, hey, how do I struggle offline? But how can I take the places, take the opportunities where the people are right now? Because those who truly know how to serve with the greatest intent, looking at the world right now, who can I help? Where can I help? Where can I make a positive impact? Those are the people who understand that leadership is all about service. And let me tell you something, those who can actually bring their heart to serve will become the ones that actually rise beyond this pandemic. And outside of this, when all comes to an end, that moment 
when we come out of this. The average person will be looking at all these leaders, influencers, superstars, heroes and entrepreneurs and say, hey, wow, where did you guys come from? They must have just got lucky. But let me tell you something. Those who actually turn their hustle game onto another level right now are the superstars who are going to change the world. <laughs>